friends, what is up? And thanks for clicking on the video. And guys, do me a favor, I don't ask this much, but if I have helped you, if you like my videos, please subscribe because I have a goal to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of February and I think we can do this. I think we can hit a thousand. Thanks guys, really appreciate it. We had a really good day in the stock market today, I'll tell you that. And the Dow was up 220 points, rebounding from the worst week ever last week. And when they say we have these terrible weeks, man, I love terrible weeks. I love, I love terrible weeks. But the thing you need to know about terrible weeks, you need to have some cash on hand because when we have a terrible week, that is the week that we need to go in as buyers and start buying up things because weeks like this, man, we're seeing some green and we're going to keep seeing some green here, I think, the most of the week. And tomorrow, I'll probably even be doing some trading. But I wanted to bring something up that a lot of people are talking about with Global Star. And if you know me, you know that I love Global Star. You know that I call it the sleeping giant. I really think the stock is going to have its day here soon. But one of the main things that I like about Global Star too is Global Star partners a lot with Nokia. So we see the partnership with Global Star and Nokia. And honestly, when I see Nokia doing good, I root it on. I'm like, yeah, go, 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 go. It's literally the other superstar on the team that you're rooting for. And Nokia's stock has never been that crazy just the past five years. It hasn't been bad, it's just been steady. But like Global Star, Nokia is doing something. They're moving fast in the 5G world. And then guys, we have another superstar on the team. We have the quarterback. We'll almost say this is kind of the Tom Brady of the 5G network right now. We have Ericsson, a 5G company that is involved in a lot of stuff. They're involved in gaming, they're involved in robotics, and they have a pretty healthy stock right now. So guys, if you're wondering why am I talking about these three companies that kind of do the same thing but have different flavors do a little bit of different things here and there but are kind of bunched in the same group starting from global star to nokia to ericsson i'm a firm believer that when you have companies that aren't really well known are competing to be the top dog but their technology is not being fully used right now in time i believe companies that are similar in the same business can help each other in the very beginning. And I think you're seeing that with these companies because when you find one, you find the rest. When I found Nokia, I found Global Star. When I found Global Star, I found Ericsson. And these are all great companies to invest in. I'm a firm believer in that, especially for the future and where we're going as a civilization. Now, Ericsson, I've never made a video on them and I probably will because they're a pretty great company and they've been bringing in some big numbers here lately. Look at Ericsson. Look at the stock price right now. Look where it started. Look where it is now. Look at Nokia. Look at where it's at. Look at Global Star. And this is what I kind of want to bring the hopes to you as a Global Star investor. And hear me out. I understand these are three different companies. I understand that in the end of it, these companies are competitors with each other. As we're seeing right now in the hydrogen fuel cell market with plug power, fuel cell energy, you're seeing companies that specialize in something. And guys, as 5G grows, as we get more and more involved into space, yes, space, and then when we go into a 6G, 7G, whatever, how many Gs it goes into, you're gonna see these companies grow. And friends, look at a chart right here on Global Star. And I wanna talk about Global Star because I think the majority of people, especially watching this video, are investing in Global Star. And they wanna know, what do I think? What's going on with it right now? Does this still have movement in it? And yes, I do. I still think there's meat on the bones here that we're gonna see come off here. So pretty much with the start of the year, we just had contract after contract and the stock hit a dollar 37. And then we trailed right there around the high teens, low teens. And now we're back to a dollar ten today after market. And honestly, just Global Star staying above a dollar, that's really good. That's really big. So I'm very happy about that. And guys, look at this. Global Star stock is a dollar and ten cents. The market cap is 1.75 billion. Shares outstanding. 1.67 billion so that's why i always say i when people talk to me about market caps i'm like listen i i get what you're saying i understand market caps i've studied market caps there's other companies that have a lot higher stock but with smaller market caps but i think we might have another run on global star this coming week if and when we hear news of a stimulus check this week going into next week Man, we're gonna start seeing some crazy numbers on the stock market again, and everything's gonna be involved in that. 
And guys, on Level Star, I bought some calls on it this week because I'm confident this will go up. But guys, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. And I hope that gave you some more insight on these great companies, this industry of 5G, what these companies bring to the table. But for all the Global Star investors, let's hang in there, guys. Even if this thing drops down below a dollar, I myself am staying in it. I'm riding out the waves here because I believe in this company. And I know as soon as I sell out, this thing's going to hit a $2 to $3 mark. And I'm going to throw up. But guys, like always, thank you so much for clicking on the video. Remember, be positive, be you. And I hope you have a fantastic day, guys. God bless you all. Bye-bye.